This is it people, it's a new day. Microsoft Loop, the flexible canvas to get things done, is now generally available. I'm Daryl, your Modern Work Mentor, and I'm going to highlight the top announcements and updates about Loop from Microsoft Ignite. If you want to dig deeper into the detail, then be sure to check out the links to my additional videos. I'll take a closer look and share how Loop will impact you and your organisation. If you're new to Loop, then let me quickly recap. Loop is an app in Microsoft 365. It has three main parts. Loop components provide a quick and simple place to collaborate within other Microsoft 365 apps. You can add components to your chats, your email conversations, whiteboards, documents, and more coming. You can share them and mention people to loop them into what you're working on. The Loop app is the place to collect, co-create, and coordinate. We use workspaces to keep our pages and our Loop components together. We share our workspaces with team members. A strength of Loop is being able to share content from Loop into other apps and bring other content into other apps into Loop. Wow. Um, early adopters of Loop have been using the preview versions of Loop for sharing ideas, tasks, co-creating drafts, making decisions, collecting responses, managing projects and sharing knowledge and so much more. Today, the Loop app is generally available. Visit loop.microsoft.com and sign in. You need a Microsoft 365 for work license to create and manage workspaces in the Loop app, but everyone in your organization can be invited into a workspace to work together. Loop has been spinning up more ways to work. Collaborative notes and meetings, so everyone can contribute and keep on the same page with shared agenda, notes, and action items. Loop supports a growing number of apps to coordinate tasks in your projects too. Bring your Trello and Jira boards into Loop, add planner boards into your pages, or use the Loop Kanban board. So what else is new in Loop? Copilot joins your co-creation to help you start ideas, refine them, summarize, and keep your team up to date with your activity. Copilot can take collaborative notes for you. You can focus on the meeting, tell Copilot to capture a quote, watch Copilot assign tasks as the meeting runs, and then you can ask it to provide more details or add details yourself and add to Copilot's notes. Now Loop components are coming to Teams channels, add components to threaded conversations. Everyone on the team can contribute, share Loop components from other places into team channels. So soon we'll be able to invite external guests into Loop workspaces. Type their email address of your guest, update their display name. Guests can contribute to Loop workspaces just like any other member. Now you can share a Microsoft whiteboard as a component. Bring your sticky notes, your mind maps and annotations into Loop workspaces and pages. You can add more Loop components into your whiteboards too. Loop components are now supported in OneNote. Take personal notes in OneNote. Paste a link for a Loop component into your OneNote, like collaborative notes from a meeting or a shared task list. Loop workspaces are great for teams that are asynchronously working at different times at different locations. The new workspaces status page makes it easy for them to see what has changed in your projects and what has been assigned to you. View recaps on activity, assign tasks and more. The links will jump you to the details in your workspace where you can see the full context and get back into the flow of work. There's more components coming to Loop. The table of contents creates links to use headings in your loop pages. You can click and navigate to the place in the page. And Azure DevOps boards can be added to loop pages to manage tasks in your chosen platform. There's so much more coming to loop. Subscribe for more updates and deeper discussion about loop and the other ways of working in your modern workplace. I'm Daryl, your modern work mentor. We'll see you again soon.